Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, it's gonna be a little bit different than my normal videos. I'm gonna be showing you my top mascaras of summer 2020, like the ones I've been alternating, alternating? My top mascaras that I've been rotating between. Does that make sense? I'm gonna show you what they look like on my eyes. I'm gonna show you um, the brushes. I'm gonna tell you why I love them. If you wanna see the mascaras in my current rotation, please keep watching. So first up, we have my newest favorite. This is the, okay, there's foundation on it, hold on. This is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. This is the one I'm currently wearing on my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see it. I know I always wear lashes in my videos, so this is just an extra little treat. Um, I have length, really, for my lashes. Like, my lashes are pretty long, but I don't have a ton, I would say. So I can get through when I just wear mascara. But this mascara, this is what the brush looks like right here. I don't know if you can see it on there. Yes, you can. So it has like a thinner on, thinner. It's a little bit thinner on the inside and it's a little bit bigger through the middle to the end here. I like the brush because I can get really like in the insides really easily. I can like play with the outer corners with this little end of the brush here. And, um, I don't really see any of the lengthening fibers, which they're probably in there, but I love the way this mascara makes my lashes look. This is the one I've been like really gravitating towards for my everyday look every single day. I bought this at Shopper, Shop, Shoppers, <laughs> Shoppers Drug Mart for $4.99 and literally can't get any better than that price. So this is an amazing mascara. I love it. It gives me a lot of length. It gives me even a little bit of volume. It separates really nicely, which I love. I love when a mascara can separate your lashes really nice. And you will notice in with the rest of my mascaras in the video, you will see a lot of them have the same type of look. As you can tell, most people gravitate towards certain mascaras that give you the same look that you're always looking for when wearing mascara by itself. So this is what this mascara looks like. I think it looks really nice. I haven't curled my lashes and it does give you a really good curl with this brush as well. Next up on the list is the old, this is like an oldie, but I really always love this mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I always loved this mascara. The brush is so good. This is what the brush looks like. It's like this fatter like brush. I find it separates the lashes really, really nicely. This mascara, as you can see, I have applied this mascara. Most of the mascaras, like I said before, they're all gonna give me almost the same look. I love the look that is going on right now. I love how most of my lashes, the way they look is you'll notice in the center, they are longer in the center and shorter on the outer corners and shorter on the inner, which most are like that, but mine naturally do that. Mine are longer on the outer corner as well, but they tend to go really down and I have like a fear of eyelash curlers, so I refuse to use it. So because of that, this one I find lifts my outer corners a little bit better than the Essence one. It, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Like I said, they're very subtle differences. I love these mascaras because they give me exactly what I want. This is the look I go for in all my mascaras. If this is not what you're looking for, then these mascaras maybe are not for you. But this one I love because if you look at the outer corners, it does lift them a little bit better than the Essence. I don't know if you can tell. Um, the brush separates really nicely. It also gives you like a good curl. So it lifts your lashes really nicely with this brush. And that's something I really like. I don't love using it on my lower lashes because I find I always get like dots underneath my lashes, which that drives me absolutely crazy. Um, I like this mascara also because it doesn't flake off. I've had issues in the past with mascaras where they're flaking off by the end of the day. I don't like that. That drives me absolutely crazy. So, so far with the two, with all the ones I'm going to show you today, None of them flake off and I love that. So this one, okay. This one, it retails for, depends if you get on sale, depends on the actual price. Like I bought it at Walmart. You can also get it at Shoppers, Rexall. Um, I bought it at Walmart for, I think this one was $13 when I bought it. Normally around $13, $12. Um, still not super expensive, which I like. Um, I don't like spending large amounts of money on mascara because I wear lashes usually when I get all dolled up. For every day, this is the look I like for my lashes. So I have no problem spending $12, $13, even $20 on a mascara. So this is my next favorite. Um, moving on, we have, this is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This mascara, I love this mascara. And you will see in a minute when I apply it. Oh, 
Okay, so my third favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This is what the brush looks like. I will show you. It's more like a triangle, this brush. I like because I like, I like the handle. Okay, there's foundation on it, gross. But um, I like the handle. I like how you can move it. You can maneuver to get like in the inner corners, underneath. Um, this is a very good mascara. Again, like I said with all the other ones, there's not a huge difference. Very subtle things I notice that I love about them. These are my favorite. Um, this one, I don't know if you can tell, this one gives you more, like, it makes my lashes more full. So when I'm going for like um, a darker look, like darker, I don't even know if you can tell it over there, but this almost makes it look like I'm wearing a liner to me anyway. It like thickens the lashes. This one I would say doesn't give you major length, it gives you the fullness. So a lot of times I will take my Colossal Mascara, put that first, and then put this on top of it because the Colossal separates really nicely. And then this one gives you the volume that you really like and gives you the length. So this is a really, really good one for more body, more volume, which I really like about that. Um, I would say this one is not very good at separating lashes. It's good for bottom lashes as well. Also does not flake, which I, hate when it flakes so this one if you look here I don't know if you can see really closely but it gives you a lot more volume at the at the bottom of the lash like where the root is it gives you a lot more um, darkness a lot more product at the root of the lash which I really like as well the only thing that is a downside with this mascara is it is very um, hard to get off I would say like I have a lot of trouble getting it off. Like I'm really like, I have to use a wipe. I have to use makeup remover. And then I use my cleanser on my face because it's really hard to get off, which I guess is a good thing because you don't want it to be coming off. But whereas my first one that I pointed out, the essence, it stays on all day, it doesn't flake. It goes on, I'm good. And it's not super hard to get off. Like I find it comes off very easy. More like, um, I don't know if you ever heard of those like tube mascaras. It like comes off really nice, like those tube ones, which is really great. And I love that. Um, so yeah, this one's also, I think 14 or $15 at Walmart and I think shoppers as well. My next mascara that I also love this one, I don't use by itself. Well, it's good, but this one I love to put with my false lashes. This one has this really skinny, like really nice brush, which you would see in any of my other videos has this little skinny, skinny, tiny brush, which when you have lashes on like the falsies and you go underneath right at the root, it helps, um, get rid of the dif difference between your la your falsie and your actual lash, which I like a lot. So that I use mainly with my falsies. Um, I don't love this one by itself. It is very lengthening, which I do like, but it doesn't give you like the curl, like this look that I love right here. Um, I do have this on my bottom lashes. As you can probably see, they're very long, very like separated, which I really like that type of look, very like long, separated, almost like spidery on my bottom lashes. So this I love to use on the bottom lashes and on my falsies. This one retails for $24 at MAC. Um, if you don't wear a lot of falsies, probably not your best bet to get this one. But if you're somebody who struggles with bottom lashes and really likes a certain look for your bottom lashes, this is probably your best bet. This separates so nicely, as I said before, it's easy to get in because of the small wand. So this I wouldn't use on my top lashes, but only with falsies. So these are my top four favorite mascaras as of right now. I know like they're all very like basic mascaras. I'm very drawn to basic mascaras. Um, I'm not super drawn to high end ones. I would, I'm willing to try them, which I have been trying to find one that's really like calling to me. So if you have any uh, recommendations for a high end mascara to try, please let me know down below. Um, I would love to hear your comments and know what you like and what looks good on you. And if you like this similar look on your eyes, Please let me know the mascara that you use, even if it's not a high-end mascara and it's a basic one, just like these ones. I would love to try new things. I always love trying new mascaras. If I had to pick the best out of all four of them, excluding the MAC one only because I use that on my lower lashes a lot and my falsies, um, I would definitely pick the Essence. This one is my go-to and has been my go-to since I bought it and I'm obsessed with it. So this is definitely a good buy. First off, I love the brush. Like I said, it's easy to do my bottom lashes, my top lashes. It's easier to get off, which I always hate getting mascara off after and like 
it's just so annoying to get mascara off at night and it's just such a hassle to make sure it's all out because you don't want any sticking in your lashes and getting stuck in there which is so annoying also so this one is easy to get off it gives me the most perfect lashes that i love um it separates really nice it gives me a lot of length and again it's very easy to use the brush and it's nice to get in the bottom lashes as well this one here it is the cheapest out of all of them which is a great like i love that i love being able to get like a cheaper mascara that does the same thing as any high-end mascara but i have used high-end mascaras and i find the ones that i have used um i get a better look with my lashes with this and i also get um my money's worth with this and it dries out a lot less a lot less faster it dries out uh it doesn't dry out as fast as the other ones um so yeah this is definitely a great buy and they have other mascaras that i have tried as well which are also great buys and still just as cheap so this is definitely my number one right now if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more please like subscribe and comment down below if you want to see videos like this that are my top favorite products my favorite products my least favorite products uh high end lower end what i think is worth it what i don't think is worth it please let me know and as always guys thank you for watching see you next time